and the robot is like towards the back. I, I vaguely remember where it is. Um, it's like around the back here, I think. Yeah, 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 this is the way. I remember for, for the longest time when I first played this game, I could not for the life of me f find the place to get the uh, robot. Because it's like all the way like... Like you wouldn't think there's anything back here, it's just like wrecked. But there's like a whole other like area back here. There's not much in it, but there is a whole other area. I... I don't know if I'm if I can even complete this part of the quest without um... Without talking to somebody else, but I'm gonna go here anyway. Let's see if I if let's see if I can if I can complete the quest without having to talk to like Mick and Ralph or anything. That'd be great. But yeah, it's like all the way back here. Like you would not expect that there would be something like anything of importance back here. Um so I think originally Freeside was gonna be a lot more open, but because of um technical limitations, they had to, you know, narrow it down a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna switch to a more close quarters weapon. Let's use our repeater. I think there's like there's like cockroaches or some shit in here. Oops. Ah, it's rats. Rats, rats. We are the rats. So I better need another red cabbage. Oh my! Let's see if we're better today. Eating ice cream is on its way. There we go. Let's hack the terminal. I've actually never really watched Germa, to be honest, so I don't really know what, like, the deal with that song is. I just know that it exists. Any Germa fans in the chat can explain? Alright. Stretches. One out of nine, correct. One out of nine, correct. Histories. One in common. No, it can't be history. It's converted. Let's see. Okay. Alright, right, let's restart. Hey, you know, Gem is funny. We're just doing um, side quests in preset right now. Change the lyrics because everybody's waiting me. Ah, oh, oh the misery. Oh the misery. Consisted. Um C O C Could be that. Convinces. Could also be that. Converted. C O. Okay, can't be converted. Southeast. Oh, Alright, let's try again. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just get really unlucky with these terminals. You can just restart as many times as you like. Not a lot of help in this one. It depends how many of these like bonus like code fragments you get the ones that eliminate stuff. Like I don't mind the hacking minigame in this in Fallout, don't get me wrong, but it's not great. Zero in common. It could be this. Recovered. It can't be that. Any ones that end in ED it can't be. It can't end in a D. So it could be release... no, it could be... increase to zero. Can't be that, can't be that, can't be that. It 
could be this. Beginning. It could be this. Cycling. Can't be. Can't be. Can't be that. Can't be that. Americans. Can't be that. Oh, yeah, Americans is one of the past. I thought you were just saying that. It can't be that. Okay, so it's... Oh, four out of nine. Okay. Recycling. Can't be that. Can't be that. Unlocking. Can't be. Oh, God. I... I figured out all the ones that it could or couldn't be. Beginning. There we go. Alright. Run diagnostics, upload a routine, program it. Okay, we didn't need to um, go back to Beckman Ralph. Alright, Fisto. Fully integrated security technotronic officer active and reporting for duty. That's a mouthful. Let's show them that to Fisto. Yes, sir. Fisto reporting for duty. Please assume the position. No. I am programmed for your pleasure. Please assume the position. My pleasure is for you to work at the Atomic Wrangler. Fisto will report to the Atomic Wrangler for further orders. Ah, uh, James Garrison, you know. Yes, right sir. Yeah, I'm not interested in sampling the robot out. I'm good. Oh, here we go. Lucky what we have here, ladies. Another unsuspecting ponce. Like an old ladies, man. What the hell? What was that animation? No, I'm not. I had to recruit it for somebody else, B. <laughs> I didn't I didn't use the Android. I specifically didn't use the android. Somebody else wanted the android and I had to get it for them. And I just got attempted to be robbed by a bunch of old ladies. Yeah, it's for somebody else, B. They wanted me to find a robot for them. I didn't use it. <laughs> but welcome back, B. Hope you had a good sleep. Yes, Maya's here. Hello, baby. Hard times. Enjoying to see the robot go assume the position. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't take the position. <laughs> that would have been a really awkward time to join in. <laughs> but yes, yes, it's not for me. It's for the this um this bar wants wants a a robot for that sort of stuff. I think I can go through this door, right? Yeah, I can. They wanted all sorts of weird stuff, B, trust me. They wanted a smooth talker, a ghoul, and a robot. There is. Welcome back. What can I get you? Um, I found the sex bot you're looking for. You did? Ha, damn! I've been looking for one of those for years. For my customers, I mean, I'm not into that kind of shit. Yeah, sure. Thing is, Fisto is a heavy-duty piece of equipment, built to last. Hey, I'm amazed you even found the thing in the first place. Here is double for your trouble. Those freaky fetishists ought to be satisfied now. Fisto's already programmed to respond to your commands. It is? It will? My god, imagine the possibilities. It didn't happen to come with an owner's manual, did it? Ah, forget it. Trial and error should do it. Uh, you wanted a smooth talker? I found one. And who would that be? What's his name? Old Ben. Has the experience and skill you need. I've heard some stories of that old guy. I'm amazed he's uh, still It's appealing alive to this guy, apparently, B. If the he seems true, very keen for it. He'll <laughs> be a valuable commodity here at the Wrangler. I appreciate the find. Um, the ghoul cowboy? Imagine that! What's his name and when's he start? Her name's Beatrix and she can start immediately. A she, huh? Well, he's definitely using that. He just wanted the room for himself. Quest can't get everything he wants. Hell, who knows? You might not even notice the difference. Alright, goodbye. See ya. 
Alright, we leveled up. <laughs> um, let's upgrade our guns a little bit. Okay, level 10, what perk should we get? Night Person, Node Rage, Mysterious Stranger, Misfortune, Math... Math Wrath. Finesse. High chance of critical hits is pretty good. Fight the power. Nah. Let's go Finesse. You in the Dyson Sphere? Yes! Chan's Dyson Sphere. <laughs> uh. <laughs> good one, B. Um, where's the other lady? The one I have to turn in the deaths to. I muted just in time to not get the sneeze on, uh... On, uh, recording. Ugh. I have to wait until, uh, morning time. Here we go. Hey. Welcome back. What can I get you? Um, I have all the debts collected. I don't care how you handled those lumps of human refuse, but you got the job done. We need you to hunt down another person. That son of a bitch McCaffrey stole a ton of caps and ran off to Vegas. I guess the fact that we farmed out his usual work to you pissed him off. No one steals from the Garrett twins. If you can kill that bastard and bring back as much as you can, you'll be paid very well. Um, if I see McCaffrey on the strip, I'll be sure to take care of him. Good. Just stop on back when he's dead and you'll be rewarded handsomely. Bring his hat as proof of the kill. Yeah, fair enough. Goodbye. Bye. Hey. <laughs> Alright, now I can go to the Kings. Where's the Kings? I wanna meet I wanna meet Elvis. Hungry? Lasers, Thirsty? plasma, Horny? pistols, grenades. Okay. We're gonna meet Elvis B. You excited? This is an Elvis. Look who's back. If you wanna see the king, you better pay up. I'm new in town and wanted to pay my respects. You know what? I like you. Half the people around here, they forget who runs this place. Head on through. The king's the bored looking guy by the stage. Can't fucking miss him. And Rexy! Rex! Rex! <laughs> Yay, Rex. I want to get Rex. So we have to do this quest so we can get Rex. Look, Rexy. Someone new's come to see us. Poor boy. He hasn't been feeling well lately. I'm the king. What can I do for you? Um, do you always charge people to come talk to you? Charge? <laughs> Pays must be added again. What did he take you for? Uh, nothing. I talked my way in. Pace must be Unfortunately, you can't touch. pet the dog. Either that or you're a smooth one. So, Maybe you can, can do like, dialogue. You? I'm not sure. But you can't actually, like, physically pet the dog, unfortunately. But he's a, he's a really nice dog. I really like Rex. Um, I figured you might have some work for me. Maybe so. Maybe so. You look like you might be able to handle yourself. Tell you what. You do me a favor, and I'll have some more work for you when it's done. Sound good? Uh, what do you need me to do? I'll start you off with something easy. Did you notice the bodyguards for hire near the gates when you entered Freeside? Yes. It's good money if you can stay alive long enough. Freeside's not as safe as it used to be, so the money is well earned. Usually well earned, that is. Recently, <laughs> my man tell me that one of those bodyguards, a fella named Oris, is making a little too much money. <laughs> it was a He's making a killing in repeat business. Mm. Once someone hires him, they never want anyone else. I want you to find out why. Specifically, I want you to hire him, play the part of an innocent tourist, and follow his lead. If nothing happens, so be it. But I'm guessing things won't go so smoothly. Call it a hunch. So, what do you say? Why are you so interested in this? That's a good question. Um, the video of a small girl saying, can I pet the dog? But it was a bear. She was saying a very sick, <laughs> very sick southern accent. Yeah, that's right. I, can, I need to learn how to read. A thick southern accent. Can I pet the dog? Uh, but why are you so interested in this king? You may have noticed that some of those guards out there are kings too. I'm just looking out for my men. I'm not trying to get some kind of unfair advantage. 
I just want a level playing field for my boys. So, what do you say? Let's do it. Okay, then. Once you part ways, return here. I'll look forward to hearing your report. Oh, and take this to cover the hiring cost. I like the king, he's cool. He's definitely one of uh one of the cooler characters around. Ah, oh, there we go, the game crashed. <laughs> we actually made it two and a half hours without the game crashing. That's pretty good. Almost two and a half hours. It was a lot better than the last time. Last stream we had four crashes, I think, in... It was like three and a half hours. Did you do this? No, 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 it just happens sometimes, B. This game is, is just like that. It just had enough. This area is, like, really badly optimized. The game doesn't like you? No, don't say that. Personal space meaning anything to you, guy? This area is really poorly optimized, that's why. I only just got here a little bit ago. If it can be bought, it can be found at Nick and Ralph's. I've still got Boone with me. I like Boone, he's, he's cool. He's been through a lot. Rad roach meat. Squirrel on a stick. Crispy squirrel bits. Squirrel on a stick. Rad roach meat. Crispy squirrel bits. What do you guys think? Should we buy this guy's meat? Mm -mm. Don't think so. Hello, Oris. If you need to cross Freeside, no one will keep you safer than I will. How much for your services? 200 caps gets you my watchful eye for a trip to the South Gate. Okay, I'll hire you. Done and done. I want to mention a few things up front. In order to ensure your safety, I need you to follow my instructions to the letter. We'll be heading down the main street here the whole way down. No detours. You go off sightseeing, and I go off to find another customer. I'll keep a brisk pace, so try not to fall behind. Now let's head out. You guys know escort missions in a lot of games? This is like a reverse escort mission. You need to follow this guy. What do you guys think of his armor? Doesn't he look cool? You get roughed up, the followers there will patch you right up. His armor is like what a ten-year-old thinks is cool. Up ahead on the next block is where the kings hang out. Don't let them scare you. Come to Mick and Ralph's for you all your shopping one, needs. Down to the right here is the fun part of town. You haven't seen Freeside till you've been to the Wrangler. Hey, slow down. I don't like the look of some of those men ahead. Let's take a different way around. How was that gunshots? Nothing to worry about. If you had hired one of those other hacks, you'd be up to your ass in low life right about now. Hey, you only fired three shots and there are four guys here. Uh, noticed that, did you? I keenly aimed one of the shots through some soft tissue of one of them mm. to hit the man behind him. Or you just fake this whole thing to drum for repeat business. That's an interesting theory you've got there. I'd suggest you keep it to yourself. Let's get moving. After you. Stay close. I wouldn't want anything to happen to you. Ah, uh, we don't have 30 medicine. The thug lies still. A victim of your recent fight. You could swear there's something odd about the corpse, but can't, can't quite put your finger on it. Medicine of 30 or greater required. Yeah, they're actually not dead. They're, 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 <laughs> they're just pretending. So he, like, fires blanks to make it look like he killed them all. And then everybody just hires him oh, for business after that. I 
trust you'll keep your mouth shut about the topic we were just discussing, or else. Okay. You gonna follow me back, or...? <laughs> or what? Isn't it, isn't it really suspicious that I'm, like, following him back? <laughs> Should he turn around and be like, bro, why are you following me? School of impersonation. They should have made a king's ending in this game. That would have been really good. Hi. What do you have for me? Oris is a fraud. He fakes attacks on his clients and then plays heroes. So that's how it happens. Okay then. I'll have some guys pull him off the street when no one's looking. You've shown me something. So maybe you can help me with a matter that's a little more important. A lot of folks around these parts who've been here a while resent the sheer number of people that have come into the area since the Strip was built. In turn, the newcomers, most of whom come from the NCR, have gotten ornery from being resented. Sometimes things get violent. The with New Vegas, that's true. This is one of those occasions. Recently, a few friends of mine were attacked, and I want you to find out who did it. Words come that they just woke up over at the old Mormon fort just north of here. Head on over, see if they remember anything. Go to the bar. No worries, babe. Be safe. Um, I'll head over right away. Good. I like that enthusiasm. Return when you have some information we can use. Be safe. Personal space meaning anything to you, guy? Pardon me? Just walk out a door. Hey yo, watch my personal space, man. You're the one standing outside the door. You can't get mad that I walk too close to you. If it can be bought, it can be found at Nick and Ralph. Shut up. The cries are the most annoying characters in this game, I swear. Every time you walk past them, they have something to say. Hey. What is it? Can't you see I want to be left alone with my friend here? The king asked me to look into your attack. Oh, that's different then. How can I help? I'll do anything to get the bastards that did this. Do you remember anything about the people who attacked you? They were big guys. Young, too. No old geezers like me. Hell, none of them looked even half my age. I was mostly face down in the dirt, begging for my life when it happened, so I only got a quick look at them. What can you tell me about the attack? Well, it happened at night, around 11. We'd recently made some caps off a bit of scrap we found and wanted to invest it wisely. As we were leaving the Wrangler, he <laughs> must have taken a wrong turn and ended up in the squatter yeah, invested side wisely, of town. Though, gambling in other From words. out of nowhere, these big guys show up and start barking questions at us, wanted to know if we were locals. The kid there is about as proud as a local around here gets and started yelling back at him. Then all hell broke loose. Kid got the worst of it. Sad to say. I have to get going. I hope you find the bastards that did this. If you want, try asking my friend Wayne over there about him. He saw more than I did. Wayne, it's okay. The king sent him. That true? Did the king really send you? He did. And anything you can tell me about what happened might help. I don't really know what else I can add. There were a bunch of guys. Better dressed than most freesiders, I guess. That help? Every bit helps, thanks. Sorry I couldn't help more, especially since you're being so nice. Hey, wait, I just remembered something. I might have heard one of the guys that attacked us call another by name. We had just about had it when one of them said, Hey, Lou, we gotta go. At least I think he said Lou. It might have been something else. Now that I think of it, he said Lou something. Something with a T. Tenant, that's what he called him. Lieutenant. He probably said Lieutenant Wayne. The boy means well, but he's dumb as a mutant sometimes. That's actually a reference to Fallout 1. There's a there's actually a mutant who um, calls another mutant. So there's a, one of the mutants' names is, is he's called the Lieutenant. He's like the right hand man of the big of the villain. Um, Hello. The master is the villain in Fallout 1. So the Lieutenant is his right hand man. And one of the mutants is really dumb and he calls him Lou because he thinks his name is Lieutenant. So it's a repeat of that of that joke from the original game. 
Well, if they're saying lieutenant, right, it means that they're soldiers. So it's the NCR. Oh, okay. Have you found anything out, or were you just here to chat? Uh, the local men were attacked by soldiers. One of the men was identified by rank. Bunch of soldier boys, huh? They usually don't come around these parts since their big base is on the other side of the strip. If they're coming over here now, it's got to be for a reason. I didn't want to believe the rumors that they're looking to take over Vegas, but now... If something big is going down, I'm sure rumors of it will have spread. Ask around, particularly in the squatter areas where the NCR folk hang. You might also mosey on over to the Mormon fort and chat Julie Farkas up. The followers tend to be in the know about these things. Just don't ask her what to do about it. She'll probably ask you to hug someone or something. Mm. Hey. Yes, yeah, so I should ask Julie first because she has she's got her like finger on like the pulse of uh Freeside, really. She knows what's going down in terms of like the most vulnerable people. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Mick and Ralph. Here's Julie. Are you here to drop off medical supplies? Leave them with the rest. Her the hair always courtyard. weirded me out. I don't know what's what's supposed to be her haircut. I know it's a mohawk, but uh, do you know anything about the NCR soldiers here in Freeside? Only a little. A friend of mine, Major Elizabeth Kieran, has been handing out supplies to the poor a little west of here. What about it? The king thinks those troops have been attacking locals. I know something's got them riled up, but I've been too busy with other matters to really look into it. If you're looking into the matter, talk to Elizabeth. She's in charge of the operations here in Freeside, though she won't open up to you right away. If Elizabeth holds out on you, tell her that I sent you. She should be a little more forthcoming if you mention my name. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about? You need medical supplies? Rates of injury and illness in Freeside are very high. Supplies don't last long. What do you need? Medex, Radaway, and Fixer are Freeside essentials. I can't pay you for any supplies you bring in, but I could discount the charge for our services. Seems like you need a steady supply, not just whatever I can grab for you. So far, the Crimson Caravan won't cut us a deal. If you can convince them or some other merchant to work with us, I'll discount supplies to you. Uh, which merchants might be willing to make a deal? You might ask around at Mick and Ralph's, or go see the Garrett's, though I suspect they're too busy poisoning Freeside to help it out. You got yourself a deal. Just come see me when you've got some supplies to turn in. Alright, let's talk some else. Want? Goodbye for now. What's up? It's the squad of camps before he said loan by the inside soldier or anything there. Talk to Major Elizabeth Kieran. I think they're back, they're back here, they're back this way. Uh, around the same area where we found the robot. Bit further down. the password I'm here to see Major Kieran on urgent business please let me pass if you're here to see the major then I suppose it's all right head on through here you go I hope this helps hello welcome there's food and water here for any citizen of the NCR please have some uh do you serve food to locals as well no I'm afraid we don't don't you have a friend you want to bring in why don't you serve locals? That's not really a pleasant topic of conversation. Let's just say we have our reasons. Uh, Julie Farkas told me to ask. She said it was important. You know Julie? Not everyone in the NCR sees eye to eye with the followers. But they're okay in my book. Mostly because of her. If you really want to know, 
We sent an envoy to the king, offering to coordinate the relief effort. Let me guess, something bad happens to the envoy. The man was brutally beaten, and only barely survived. My superiors ordered the relief mission scrapped. I managed to get clearance to carry out the mission anyway, but with greatly reduced support. Now there's not enough supplies to go around, even if I wanted to serve the rest of Freeside, which I don't. That's all in the past now. I should get back to work. Say hi to Julie for me. Hmm. Hello. So they did want to help the people, but um, the locals perhaps weren't so friendly to begin with. So it's a bit rich that, you know, people would turn around and say, like, why aren't you helping us if, you know, <laughs> you... They tried to, they sent somebody to, like, talk to you, and you nearly killed them. You know, doesn't quite add up. 